Welcome back to Awful Movie Reviews. Uh, it's a pleasure having you on board. Ah yes, Space Mutiny. I had never heard of it before, but the plot actually sounds interesting. But, if it's featured on my channel, then you know that this movie messed up big time. And even for messing up big time, this movie does worse than the average terrible film that I've covered here. Ah, I'm surrounded by incompetence! It's an action space opera, and honestly, this could very well be the worst movie of the entire genre. But first, if there's a bad movie you'd like me to review, just leave a comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe, never miss out on a bad movie review. In the distant future, the planet Earth has become unlivable, and so a group of survivors now live on a giant spaceship. And while some are happy with the new lives that they've made up in space, there's a part of the crew aboard the ship which desperately wants to land, and starts rebelling, eventually leading towards a mutiny. Now, if this was actually released in theaters, it would actually cause a mutiny just because of how much it sucks. From the stupid writing to the terrible dialogue and the laughable acting, to the fact that the characters are shooting at each other with toy guns, this whole charade is just ridiculous. And it just kills me how it takes itself so seriously when I legit couldn't stop cringing at it. I understand how you feel. We get Red Brown here, who plays a B-movie Arnold Schwarzenegger, who spends his time shooting at everyone, or yelling like a complete moron for no reason. That explosion cut the power, and there wasn't time to go over the auxiliary backup system. I had to eject. I had no other choice. Ah! Leah! McPherson! Ah! Ah! Lost power! Lost power! It's not going to make you any more badass. It's a big, big mess. He tries to stop the rebels who have been blowing shit up and damaging the ship. But half of the flick revolves around massive explosions and fires bursting out of everywhere. How can that help? They're doing exactly what they were supposed to be preventing. I don't have to justify my actions to you. There they go. The most hilariously bad moment is when the protagonists are chasing after some bad guys in these tiny little bumper cars. I mean, just... How can they possibly catch up to them when they're moving at such intense speed? I swear that this scene is legendary. And why are the rebels wearing scuba diving masks on board? And this guy's beard looks completely fake. And what in the name of complete ass is wrong with this guy's hair? His hairdo symbolizes the massive catastrophe that this flick is. And who are these women dancing around like crazy people in the dark? It's never really explained who they ever are. It starts out bad from the very beginning, when the title credits appear all fucked up and blurry onto the screen. Who's the idiot behind all this? And the musical score sounds like it was made on a cheap Yamaha keyboard. Well, if this big bucket of smelly vomit proves one thing, it's that quality control doesn't always do the job. It's shameful to release something this stupid and badly made. Apart from some very cheap action scenes sometimes, there's nothing good about this. I'd like to pick one of those toy guns up and just blast this stinker as far away as I can. <sighs> Take that, Space Mutiny. What an awful movie. Ha 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 ha.